friends. Welcome back to Joyani Scrapping in my own private Idaho. We are still working on 31 days of treats and today we are doing a treat but it is not candy. It is actually these cute little pencil toppers. So this is a Cricut design space file and I will share that with you. Well, I will, um, I will show you the how to make these um, design space files. This one is by Lucene Smith. And if you put in pencil to Halloween pencil toppers on the Cricut design space file, it will um, pop this up. If you go to my um, Facebook um, group, which is Joy Ani Scrapping My Own Private Idaho, same um, name, I will show you a picture of the file and that might help you find it as well. I'm also going to show you how if you're not a Cricut person what you can do to make this um, I was able to make a um, this without the Cricut and I'll show you what I used. Alright so if you are a box person my box person you have these items in your box. You have a cute little bat. I did not cut out his small eyes because I hate cutting out small teeny tiny things like that on the Cricut. I'm going to move this so you can see a little bit better. And I used brown just because I'm working with black and I wanted you to be able to see today. So um, you have the bat. You have a two inch circle. We'll be talking about that in a little bit. And you also have this. Um, this is one one and a half inch, one inch by one and a half, I believe. Uh, um, and it is missing. It's all important little. Um, sorry. And you would also include this small thing, and this keeps it from. This keeps your. Sorry. This keeps. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. This keeps your pencil from falling down. You will need liquid glue or glue dots. I recommend liquid glue. Um, just and um, a pencil because you'll need a pencil to shape it. And we'll go ahead and get started. So I have my liquid glue. I have um, these three items and I'm going to be adding glue dots later. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pencil. I did not bring anything to measure this with, so I'm going to um, swing over here and say that this is actually one and a half, one and a half, one by one and a half, one and three quarters, I guess. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to roll this, and I made this one. A little tight and it's hard to get off and on so you want it to be tight but not too tight and I'm just going to go ahead and roll this around I'm just hoping my glue actually works okay so this is I already have sticky fingers from doing this the sample so I am going to go ahead and can you see how I'm, I'm gonna move my fingers a little bit and I'm going to put glue right here you're forming kind of like a little, oh, I don't know, what would you call this? Circle, oh, come on glue, don't fail me now. I have two glues, will either one of them work? That's a question. Okay, and this green glue works really well for this particular project. And I always, when I was in the classroom, and if I was in the, what, in all my school experience, I said the secret of glue is patience, just like life. Good things come to those who wait. So you're going to hold that, and then you're going to count. One, two, three. Don't get in a hurry, or you will not, it will not stay. Okay, so this can slide off and on. Oops, I forgot to put my little bat on here. So on my round circle, which is about two inches, um, I'm going to put my little bat. He is so cute. He's going to be even cuter. So this is that two-tone paper that Stampin' Up! came up with. 
and so it's on the light or on the dark side. I think I'm going to make my, I think bats are, are actually kind of grayish, and I'm going to put him kind of cockeyed, so he's like, like he's flying into the moonlight. I'm going to put a little bit of that, oh, my glue does not want to, come on, don't fail me now, don't fail me now, glue. Every, every glue I reach for, it's almost like, I don't know. Okay, I found the one that worked. Crisis averted. Okay, so I'm going to put this one off to the side like this. So tomorrow we're going to do two days of this, just, just because it's so important for you to have pencil. What I like about this is um, this project and being able to give these cues pencil um, toppers away is number one kids never have a pencil oh my heavens as a so I was a school librarian for oh almost 20 years and um, <laughs> they never had pencil they never had pencils so um, this was a great thing to do and you know we have so many kids now that have sugar issues and all kinds of food allergies so if you're giving them a pencil, you do not have to worry that you are poisoning the poor barns. Oops, I might have made this one too. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so now I've got it in there. Okay, so this little piece, it looks like, um, I don't know, three quarters of a moon. And we're going to put it right on top just to cover it up to make it look nice. Would you have to do this? No, but it does make it look so nice. So I'm just going to put it up the top. I'm trying not to put the eraser because, you know, kids make mistakes. If we gunk up the eraser, we'll have to, we'll have to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to put this, oops, I'm going to, I'm going to put the circle towards this way. I'm going to just, okay, perfect. And there is our pencil topper. And it's, you can give it to any kid, and then um, you can make up several of these, and they can choose them. Now, I want to show you what if you don't have Cricut. If you have any two-hole punch, so this is an old Close to My Heart one, but I know that Stampin' Up! has one similar, and um, most people have a two-hole punch, a two-inch punch. Okay, so I have my little kitty here. And this is a stamp. This is from um, Potions and Spells and Potions, which is, so I usually buy one stamp set a month. Uh, um, not a month. Well, I do buy more than, I do buy a stamp set a month, but um, I usually buy one Halloween set a year. So this year I'm with Stampin' Up! now, so I bought this um, Spells and Potions. And this little kitty cat is going to go on there. I don't have it, but if you look at my still pictures later, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bling right in his eyeball. And I stamped on the light side of the, the black. I stamped it, and then there's a die cut that goes with it. I've been You'll see this a lot because um, it is the stamp set that I purchased this year. And, yeah, yay me. Okay, so now I'm going to get my pencil. So this instead is this. And then the other thing that I did was I, this is a half inch punch. And um, it will give you this. And then you're just going to simply take your paper cutter. I found it too hard to cut this thing in half. So what I did was I just lined it up. So I brought out my paper cutter. I put it down in this track. And I just, oops, let me put it up here so you can see it. See how it's halfway in? And I am just going to cut off. Ooh, my fingers are like sticking together like none other. So it's hard for us to see. So just use your imagination. And I am going to go through. And that gives me about, it's a little more than half. And I'm just going to cut it off. And so those are the cuts. So, um... The cuts you would need if you don't have a Cricut would be a two inch punch, one by one and a half, and then a half punch cut, um, cut in half. And if this doesn't work, I might have to trim this. We'll see. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get another pencil out. And, um, boy, I tell you, I, I don't have my ink here, but normally I would ink this, but it's going to be hidden, so I am not going to worry about that. Oh, and it's purple, and it matches. I love how this purple, this, I, the purple, it even matches the eraser. Oh, boy. I, I, I could not find, I went to the dollar store. I started this project, because there's 31 days of treats. It, it took me, I started this in August, I believe. And I could not find any Halloween pencils. So, and I'm not going to make this one quite as tight because I had a terrible time. So see how I'm rolling it again? I'm going to put my glue down here. I'm going to put it right here. And, um, and I will make, because I bought a million of these, I'm going to make a lot of these because you can use any stamp set. So, um... It's a great way to use up your stamp sets. I Nothing makes me sadder than if I buy something and then I never use it. Okay, but I've gotten, I've gotten my use out of this. And oh look, I like how his tail sticks up. See how that's going to look out in the back. So you do have to kind of flatten a little bit. I have to see where I'm going to put my kitty. Okay, right up there. I hope I'm, I'm, hope I'm not blocking your view. I'm going to flatten this one. Boy, this is longer than I thought it would be because I'm showing you two ways to do something. So I want to do this. And um, if you are having problems with it staying on here, which actually the glue, the, the green glue, if you just are patient and hang on, I feel like it sticks really well. But if you had any worries at all, you could definitely use glue dots. I know some people cannot send their, their hands um, gluey. I kind of like it, which is right up my alley. Okay, so this one, I'm going to slide it in here. And here's my homemade one, and look how nice that fits. So, yes, this little half punch, just take a little bit off, and if, it, if you get it, if it's a little bit big, you can trim it. But um, that way, if you don't have a Cricut, or you can't find this design space file, or you just want to use your own stamps, you can absolutely do that so um, I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel and um, this is day number 18 and um, uh, we will just keep continuing on see he needs little eyes to help him see what oh now I forgot my googly eyes how can I forget googly eyes for my little my little bat I, I do kind of overdo the googly eyes. Um, <laughs> I probably have thousands of googly eyes. And um, for a while they were having different colors and different shaped googly eyes. And I, it seemed like every time I'd go to the store I'd be coming home with googly eyes. But doesn't it, look at how plain he was. And now he's just so cute. Everybody looks better with googly eyes. Okay, that, that is kind of funny because he, now he's a look, looking a little one-eyed. But there you go. So there, oops, it stuck to my hands and not, I might have to use a glue dot on that because I've got so much glue on my hands. So those are, and they go so fast. Um, this is a great project. Small kids could do this. Um, so I hope you will. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow on 31 Days of Treats. And this is day 18, and tomorrow will be day, day 19. We're going to do one more of these. I have a cute little pumpkin that I'm going to do. So, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.